video is going to be a rather inspirational one, if you may. I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. But um, I would like to... I get a lot of DMs um, asking me how do I remain so confident. So I decided I'm going to make a video about it. Um, telling y'all something. So, um, I wasn't always confident. My entire life, I've actually been the most insecure person that you would ever meet. I used to hate my body. I used to hate my face. I used to hate my skin. I used to hate myself as a whole. Like, I just did not want to be myself anymore. Um, I remember growing up, I used to compare myself to other girls that the boys would prefer um, because you know like they would have bigger booties bigger titties an hourglass shape their skin would be clear and I didn't have all that growing up I had really bad acne and I was very skinny um, growing up so Ignore my dog in the back. He's mad because my sister's left him and he has severe anxiety. Baba! And he has severe anxiety, um, severe separation anxiety. So anyways, let's get back into the video. Um, I remember growing up, I used to compare myself to other girls because of how they looked as opposed to how I look. I looked very different um and i just i never used to feel beautiful because even though i i never lack attention that's one thing i never lack attention i used to like boys would still like me and you know people would still think i'm pretty but to me i was always ugly like i would look at myself and i would just be like ew I don't want to be you anymore like I hate how you look I used to ask God why did he make me like this why did he make me skinny with bad acne a big nose and no ass <laughs> no titties or any of that and to this day I still ask for forgiveness because that is the worst thing that you can actually do because God made you you for a reason and he made he you are perfect in his image and you are perfect overall he made you perfect no matter how you look no matter if you have a disability it doesn't matter if you don't like something about yourself you are perfect regardless because that is how god made you he makes no mistakes okay so nothing on you is a mistake you're not a mistake but growing up uh, i used to be very insecure and it really took a toll on my personal life my love life well let me not say love life like that was a little girl i was you know growing up i was still trying to find myself and trying to figure out what i want to be or where i stand in society you feel me so not my love life but um it would really take a toll on my personal life because nobody really wants to hear you talk down on yourself all the time. Even if they are trying to make you feel better about yourself, it gets tiring. Like, we're grown now. We can talk about this and we can be real. It gets tiring to somebody. Like, put yourself in their shoes. If you meet somebody and the person is continuously talking down on themselves and you are always trying to uplift them you're always trying to make them feel better about themselves but it's just not working because no matter what you cannot force somebody to see something and to you it becomes tiring because it's like damn like i'm trying to help you but you're not accepting my help or you're not you're not accepting what I'm trying to offer. You're not accepting the positivity that I'm trying to instill in you. You get what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't really wanna get too deep because I get deep, okay girl, I get deep. Those questions really raise awareness for me because as I said, I grew up very insecure. Honestly, I um, started gaining confidence probably mm, just two years ago. I have been 
insecure. I've been upset with myself, upset with my image because I just never thought that I was good enough. And what I used to do is I used to not only compare myself to, you know, um, local girls and stuff like that, but I would also compare myself to celebrities, people who get their body done. What I need you to understand is social media is an illusion and it only shows the best parts of people's lives it's very rare that you would see some somebody being so transparent about the bad things that are happening in their life or about the or about their insecurities as well you don't usually see that you usually only see the good they only show you the good and that is why you should never compare yourself to anybody on the internet you shouldn't compare yourself to anybody regardless because you never know what a person got going on you never know what that person is battling you 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 just never you never know so it's not good it's not good to compare yourself period you are beautiful you are beautiful okay just always remember that Every time you look in the mirror, if right now you are struggling with body issues and self-love issues, every time you look in the mirror, just always remember that there's only one you. There's on, In this entire world of over 8 billion people, there's only one you. And there will always only be one you. Even if you're a twin, you guys are still, you guys still have your differences. You, there's only one you there's only one person who looks like you there's only one person who acts like you has your personality you may find people who you have who you share similarities with but you're you still have your differences you there's still something about you that makes you unique and that's why you're special that's what makes you special and that is what some somebody can never is this recording oh yeah <laughs> It's recording, okay. Y'all, I really thought that I've been talking this whole time. I've been getting into it and it hasn't been recording, but it's, it's recording, so we're good. Okay, where was I? Um, yeah, that's what makes you special. Your own uniqueness. Everything about you, your creativity, your looks, your voice, your eyes, your hair, your height, your body type, your weight, your teeth your eyelashes everything about you is so unique and beautiful and perfect you are perfect never look at somebody on social media who got a fat ass and hourglass shape or they're skinny enough or they're thick enough don't let the beauty standards of this society get the best of you because always remember that everybody is different you can't change how you were made I mean yes you can with money if you have the money that like, you can do that but by all means though if you are not happy with yourself and you can afford it and you want to go make yourself happy by buying you a new body or buying you a new nose or whatever do it do it do it in this life do whatever makes you happy this is about you this is your world and everybody else is just living in it do whatever the fuck makes you happy your happiness is the only thing that matters. You can be so confident, but you're still like, you know what would boost my confidence even more? If I had a fat ass. And you go buy yourself a fat ass. And that's what's gonna boost your confidence. You're already confident. You feel me? But you wanna, you know, push it up a little bit more. You go buy your body. You feel me? But this is not about that. This is about embracing your natural true self no can't nobody else be you can't nobody else walk like you talk like you look like you smell like you even if y'all wear the same perfume it's still going to be a difference because it's not you it's just not you you're unique and that's what makes you perfect you're smart you're special and that's what makes you perfect stop comparing yourself that's the biggest mistake that i made is i compared myself to people who aren't even real and i would get so upset at myself because i'm like why don't i look like that 
and I want it to look like that. But now I've realized how special I am and I've realized how unique I am. I've realized my beauty and you are too. You are so fucking beautiful. You're a bad bitch. You're a bad bitch. And don't let anybody tell you different. Don't let a damn soul in this world tell you different or make you feel different. Because no matter what, you're always going to shine. Because it's you. You have your own shine about you. You have your own radiance about you. Happy girls are the prettiest. Confident girls are the prettiest. When you realize your worth, nobody can overstep you. Nobody can belittle you. Nobody can make you feel less than you are because you know who you are and you know your worth. This video was very um, personal for me because when I say I was insecure, I took it to the next level, girl. Like I used to just, I used to be, I, was, I used to be literally sad every single day when I would see myself. I would compare myself and that's so embarrassing to me like now that I'm looking back at it I'm like why 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 did I do it it, it doesn't make sense that's so stupid <laughs> but yeah I decided that I just wanted to you know make this video hopefully it will help somebody that's my aim on this channel I want to help I want to inspire and I also want to entertain. I want to do all of that while entertaining you guys. Even but at the same time, we got to keep it real and we got to make sure I got to make sure that my girls are okay. You feel me? I got to make sure cuz a lot honestly like a lot of DMs that I get especially about weight. Let's get into that because I have seen majority of my DMs, majority of the girls that I have talked to, I know you guys know about my weight gain video. All of them, if not, if not, majority to all of them is all, it's always, hey, I've been struggling with body positivity or you look so good and I want to look like you or I've always hated my body. And it's like those type of messages are the messages that stand out to me because I know what it's like. I have been searching I've been searching my whole life for something that would help me to gain weight something that would help me to gain an ass or some bigger titties and hourglass shape some hips and when I finally did I felt so good within myself and I used to try so hard to keep up the weight but I don't even care at this point I don't even care if I lose the weight and I go back to how skinny I was because I've realized my worth and I understand, I completely understand if you're just unhappy, but I'm just trying to convince you. I'm just trying to explain to you the importance of realizing your worth and realizing how beautiful you are, regardless if you have a fat ass or if you have bigger titties or if you have an hourglass shape. I'm just trying to show you how important it is. You need to love yourself first. You need to accept how you are first and then decide yeah i accept how i am i love how i am but i want to alter it still you feel me i still want to do something and that's okay because you can love something and you still want to make it better you can think that this phone is already cute without a case but you're like but i want a case to make it look better i want a case to make it you know like to pump up the looks a little bit and you do that but you already know that the phone looks good without all of that, without all of the accessories and all of that. You get what I'm saying? I hope you do. I hope you do. But yeah, I hope, I really hope this video helped you, helped somebody, and let me know if you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow my Instagram at Shamaya Cache with two E's. And my Twitter at Champagne. I'll put all of that on the screen. And it's also in the description box. Again, don't forget to like, a comment, and subscribe. <laughs> what the hell? Don't forget to like, a <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Stay beautiful.